Requests are a really great way for listeners to interact with your station. They can request songs that they really love and have that automatically play on the station. In a previous video, we covered how to set up uh, this when you're using Sam Broadcaster Cloud. But you can also use automated request when working with Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how to do that. To enable requests through Live DJ, there's a few steps to follow. The first is to enable requests within the Sam Broadcaster Cloud configuration. So we go to the Settings tab, Request Policy, and then you have to select Enable Requests from Widgets. You can ignore the rest because the rest of the settings is really meant for requests made on the Cloud library which is not the same as the music library contained in your Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. So all you have to make sure to do is to enable requests from widgets over here and then save. Next what we need to do is actually open up Sam Broadcaster Live DJ and go to config, request policy and say process request via Sam Broadcaster Cloud. And here we can configure the specific request rules we want to have for the Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. You can choose to leave all requests in the request list, and this allows you to manually move it into the queue. Or you can uh, choose to put the request at the bottom of the queue automatically, or put it at the top of the queue, but only after a specific delay. Like, let's delay it for 10 minutes before we do that. Uh, when you choose to leave request in list option, you do have an op uh, a way to automatically move that to your queue by using the rotation clock wheel. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But let's uh, choose to put request at bottom of queue here. Now you can check what rules to apply when you're trying to choose the track to, to move to the queue. So uh, this avoids the same track being played back to back or the same artist or title being played back to back. So it's just enforcing your separation rules, basically. Another important setting is uh, which library to export. Uh, you can choose any playlist or uh, content filter, but the best uh, method I found is to really to use a playlist so you can manually choose which songs you want listeners to be able to request. And this is important because if you have a big library, the system currently only allows you to upload or import a library of about 20,000 tracks to the cloud. So that allows your listeners to choose from a selection of 20,000 tracks uh, for their requests. So having a playlist like this will allow you to pick exactly which tracks you want requestable. If you choose something like Music All and you have, let's say, 100,000 tracks, then the system will only export the first 20,000 tracks whichever that may be. So it's best to use a known uh, playlist category and manually select which tracks you want in there. Next, uh, I recommend you say automatically export library metadata. This will check whenever the request folder changes, it will upload that to the cloud. Not immediately, but after say 15 minutes or 30 minutes, it will detect the change and upload it. So eventually it will uh, show what you want it to be. So let's click OK and I'm going to go ahead and, gonna go ahead and manually export the library just to make sure it's up to date. I say export library metadata and just to make sure it worked I look here at uh, the notice messages here. You can see here library metadata exported to Sam Broadcaster Cloud and my second uh, when I actually did it manually it didn't succeed because there was no change detected so there was nothing to sync so it looks like we're good to go there okay before we showcase how requests work just one more setting to review if I go to configuration and I say playlist rotation rules and I choose the clock wheel model and I click config You'll notice that I've set up mine to play two songs from Music All and then to try a request to queue it at the bottom. You can also do that by clicking this request button and it says request mm -hmm. queue to bottom. What this basically does, it looks like, uh, at the request list and if there's any request that's available for rotation, in other words, it 
as the, the delay is already passed and it doesn't break any of the separation rules that you specified then it will be added to the bottom of the queue if the request list is empty it will just roll over and, and do maybe one of these instead um, so this is a way for you to take more control of when you exactly want requests to be inserted into your daily playlist The next configuration you need to do is to make sure you've included a media library browser widget inside your website or you might be using the standard free website template that comes with some broadcaster cloud. Uh, let's review that quickly. If I go to widgets, I have this free hosted website option which I've already opened up in this tab over here and there's also embeddable widgets you can generate. So I can generate a media library widget that shows 20 tracks at a time and then I can generate the widget as well that I can just embed into my playlist or in my, into my website. And I can simply copy and paste this JavaScript code to the top of my HTML page and this in the body wherever I want the widget to be displayed and here you can see how the widget looks like and there's a request button but you'll notice that the songs in here is currently displaying uh, the cloud library items I can again maybe move here go to menu browse library and you'll see that all the tracks in here uh, is not the ones that that I'm using in my Sam Broadcaster Live DJ and that's because uh, if we jump back to Sam Broadcaster Live DJ you'll notice that Sam Broadcaster Cloud is the currently playing uh, or the on-air source. So the library widget will always show the library of whichever source is currently live. So that's something, something important to remember. So once you've configured your website to be able to use us to browse the library, uh, we're ready to move to the next step. Okay, so next we need to make sure we do have some tracks in our request playlist as we configured. Again I have 32 tracks in my playlist over here and now uh, let's go ahead and start playback. I'm just going to mute my studio so there's no feedback here and I'm going to go ahead and then connect an encoder and you'll see I'm set up with live of cloud as backup so as soon as my buffering is completed my live stream will become the active on-air source. So if that's the case then the library browse widget will change to contain my uh, exported playlist. So there it's active. So let's go to the website. First thing to note is that this doesn't happen automatically. So this is still showing the old playlist but as soon as I browse for songs Let's say I'm going to search for love here. Now you see it's actually picking up my exported playlist. And if I make a request now, the track is successfully requested. Let's make another one. Track su successfully requested. And if I go back to the cloud here, to the library, and I go to request, you'll notice that it's not in this list because it wasn't meant for this library. But if I go back to my SAM broadcaster and I just open the request window here, you will notice that both of those requests are now available here. So now I can go ahead and move that to the bottom of the queue. And as soon as that track plays, it will be removed from my request list as well. You might have to click the refresh button just to refresh the view, but overall, that song is now playing because it has been requested. I hope this uh, uh, tutorial showed you how easy it is to do requests from both the cloud uh, library as well as the Sam Broadcaster Live DJ library. And if you have multiple DJs uh, running uh, shows on your station, each of them will get their own library that they can export. And while they're doing their live show, listeners will be able to make requests and uh, you'll be able to then play those requests live on the show you're doing or even 
take the request of uh, that was made by listeners during your last show and include them in your next show. So very useful. It's been our experience that listeners really love being part of the station um, experience and, and like to interact with the station and request is a great way for them to be more involved with the station and also allows them to have a voice and influence what is getting played on the station. So we've seen stations that implement requests, um, they have a lot more listener stickiness and then the listeners are just happier. So we hope you implement this in your station and hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.